In this video, I'll show you how to beautifully blur your backgrounds in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. Now, before I show you a wonderful technique for blurring backgrounds, I want to show you a problem that you might run into with blurring. If you select the background and then add a blur, the subject will bleed into the background, leaving a strange looking halo around the subject. That's not very good. I'm going to show you how you can avoid this problem so that your blur can look realistic and not haloed. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to the image that I'll be using in the video description. To get started, we need to duplicate our layer with Command or Control J. We'll need one layer for our background and the other one for our model. So let's start with the top layer selected and let's make a selection of our subject on this layer. I'll grab the Object Selection tool, and then I'll hover over the model and I'll click to make our selection. Then I'll go up to the Context toolbar and I'll press Refine so that we can paint over the edges of the hair just to make sure we have a nice selection of this area. Then I'll press Apply, and I'll apply a mask to our selection. I'll deselect with Command or Control D. With that done, I'll turn off the lower layer so that you can see that the background has been removed from our top layer. And now that that layer is off, we can look at our mask and see if there's any problem areas. So I do see some smudges here and there. So let's grab the paintbrush so that we can paint on our mask to remove those areas. I'm going to paint in black paint to remove any smudgy areas. So I'll just go around, cleaning up these smudges. And if you ever paint away too much, you can just press X on your keyboard to switch to white paint, and then you can add those areas back in. Then I'll press X again to continue removing the smudges. Affinity selection tools have gotten a lot better at making selections, but the tools still need a little bit of our help. So that's where this comes in, doing this painting cleanup. So go ahead and take your time going all the way around your subject, making sure any obvious smudges are removed. Okay, I think this looks a lot better. So now our top layer is finished. We just have the model on this layer. So we can move on to adjusting the bottom layer. Right now, our bottom layer still has the model on it, and I want to make sure he's removed. If I keep him on this layer, then we'll get that halo effect that I showed you earlier. To remove him from this layer, we need to make a selection of him. Lucky for us, we already made this selection, and we can just reload it. So go ahead and hold Command or Control, and then click on your top layer icon to load this as a selection. Now I want to make the selection a little bit bigger to make sure that every part of him is removed. You can see that we might be missing a few hairs and parts of his sweater might be sticking out of this selection a little bit. So let's go ahead and grow the selection by going to the top of the screen to select, and then down to grow slash shrink. Now I'm just going to increase the radius to grow my selection. I think that amount looks pretty good. So I'll press apply. So now we can remove everything that's inside of this selection. To do that, I'll just turn off this top layer and select the bottom layer. And then with this layer selected, we can go to the top of the screen to edit, in paint. Now Affinity has in painted the entire selected area. 
We can deselect with Command or Control D. And you can see while this isn't perfect, it did fully remove the man, which is exactly what we wanted. So with that finished, now I'll just turn the subject layer back on. You can see he covers any of those weird areas, which is perfect. And now we can blur the background. So I'll go to our filters and I'll apply the Gaussian blur filter. We can go ahead and raise the radius. And to make sure we don't have transparent edges, I'll check on Preserve Alpha. Now you can see we have a beautiful blur going around our subject without any bleeding. This looks really nice. Now I do have a few bonus tips for you, and I think you're really going to like these. First, we can make this blur look more realistic. The parts of the background that are closer to our subject should be more in focus. And then the parts way in the background should be less focused. So we can mimic this with a gradient. With the blur layer still selected, I'm going to grab the gradient tool. Then I'm just going to click somewhere at the top and drag this down about to where his feet would be. Now you can see the front area of the background is more in focus, and then it gradually becomes more blurred toward the back. I think this looks a lot more realistic. As one last tip, now that our subject is separate from the background, we can edit each of these separately. For example, if we wanted to, we could brighten up just the subject. So I'll add a curves adjustment and I'll brighten this. And then I'll make this a child layer to our subject by clicking and dragging it on top of the subject layer. So now you can see that this is only affecting our subject, making him stand out even more from his background. All right, with that done, now we can see the complete before and after. I think this looks so good, and now you know how to beautifully blur your backgrounds. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.